Hey guys, I just downloaded another game called Age of Empires 2. It's the definitive edition. And if you're like me, you've been having some issues with it. Uh, lagging and uh, crashing. And I think I have the solution. Uh, you just want to open up the control panel. I'm just going down to Cortana and typing in control. And it's going to bring us to the old school control panel. Uh, make sure when you get here that you have large icons selected so you can get this full range of icons. And then just scroll down until you see the system icon. And after clicking on that, it'll bring up a window um, like this, and it'll show your computer specs. You can see I've just got a, a laptop uh, with an AMD ATI Radon card, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but you need to click on this advanced settings uh, link right here. And that's going to open up this window. Uh, it says advanced. Click on the advanced tab at the top. And there's a performance section right here. It's the first section. And you want to adjust your virtual memory by clicking on settings. And then up here, there's going to be a, another tab that says advanced. And at the bottom part of this window, you'll see your virtual memory uh, section. And what you need to do is you need to change your virtual memory settings. And uh, normally, it's going to be a, a system managed, or uh, there would probably never be a, a no page file. But uh, you just want to set a custom size with a minimum of 8 gigabytes. That's 8,000 megabytes as the minimum. And for the maximum, we're going to put 20 gigabytes. Uh, this game is about 20 gigabytes in size. So uh, click Set to make sure you've set that. And once you've done that, you're going to click OK. And uh, close that screen. You'll click OK on the next screen and OK on this screen. And it's going to ask you to reboot your computer at this point. But I've already done this. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and open up Age of Empires to show you that it does work. Uh, the issue I was having was when I tried to load a saved game, or if I tried to play for longer than 5, 10, 15 minutes, maybe half an hour, the game would just simply crash. And uh, I noticed most often that when I tried to load a saved game, that is when the crash would happen. <clears throat> and I can even uh, pinpoint here when the crash would happen, but I'm just going to load the game, and uh, sorry, this is going to be a little bit painful because I am doing a screen recording while trying to load up uh, a large game, so this will take a few minutes. Um, but you can see here it's uh, it's loading up, and um, I've already got the mouse, custom mouse arrow icon. Uh, screen's black for a little bit longer than normally is. This is the opening video. Uh, we're just going to let it play because I could click, but it's just going to, uh, it's, just, it's still going to take just as long to load, so we might as well just let the video play out. Um, and uh, just bear with me, uh, but you can see it's, this isn't the actual frame rate of the game. Uh, the frame rate is actually full speed. Um, it's just, it looks a little bit choppy because uh, as I'm doing the screen recording, I think it's recording at like 23 frames per second. So um, every, things are taking a little bit longer. But I just want to show you that uh, when the game does uh, finally load up, <clears throat> it will actually uh, uh, load a saved game. And it will actually play without crashing. So here it is. It, that, that was actually pretty quick. Usually when that screen comes up, it takes a little bit. Uh, but we're just going to load up a uh, saved game from earlier. And uh, I think there's just one in here in auto save. Yeah, okay. So we'll click on that. And now, yeah, this part is going to take a little while, unfortunately, because it just, it just takes a while. <clears throat> but this will give you an idea how fast it runs on just a regular uh, AMD 64 bit uh, laptop with uh, ATI Radon graphics. Um, it's not a high-end gaming machine. Um, it's just a regular laptop. Uh, I, that, uh, I actually had to upgrade the RAM from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes. So uh, it's not even uh, what it came with. But I do have an SSD hard drive in here. Uh, so that helped things uh, dramatically. But you can see the, the game is loading. Um, and normally what would happen here is, as it's loading, uh, there would be the transition where uh, it would transition down from the top left on, a, on a, this diagonal fade. 
And normally right when that happened, uh, that's when I would get a, uh, a system crash or a game crash. Uh, and the first time it happened, my entire screen went blank. I thought my screen had died. I had to restart the computer. But um, here you'll see actually once it, once it finally occurs, uh, the frame rate is going to slow way down, almost to a stop. And uh, it looks like here, here it goes right here. So it is a very slow transition, but normally it would crash there. But here we are. We're into the game. This is the save. And uh, this looks like the uh, the last part of the battle where I had just uh, defeated the English and uh, was about to destroy their castle. Uh, but that's it. So hope this helps you guys. Um, this was an issue that I've been having for a little while. And uh, I went through lots of uh, research trying to figure it out, uh, going through the, uh, the event the system event logs and error logs and uh, looking through forums and it took a few hours but uh, this solved my problem so change your paging uh, file size to a minimum of 8 gigabytes and a maximum of 20